Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our science class. I am Mom Mylene, your teacher for today. Okay, before we're going to proceed to our lesson proper, I will show you a different questions that we are going to answer. Just raise your right hand if you want to answer. Okay, here are the questions. Number one, have you ever witnessed or observed people who are constructing roads and houses? What have you observed? Yes, very good. They use sand, cement, and rock. For number two, what do you think they do to flatten the area? Yes, very good. They use bulldozers to flatten the area. Number three, what do you think might happen to the rocks in the area? Yes, very good. The rocks will be crushed and some of it will turn into a soil. And now, who among you can still remember our last lesson? Yes, very good. Our last lesson is about the kinds of rocks. It is the sedimentary rock, metamorphic rock, and igneous rock. And now, I will show you a set of pictures. The picture A and the picture B. We are going to differentiate them. A picture A shows a concrete house made of rocks and stones. The picture B shows a picture of a ruined house by a fallen rock. So, that's why the rocks have fallen will crack and turn into a soil. Okay, what do you think is our lesson for today? Yes, very good. It is all about the rocks and how it will turn into a soil. And now, you will have another activity to do. It is named Crash Me Down Activity. That, for that, I will group you into two. But before you are going to do the activity, I will show you the rubrics on how are you going to do it and how are you going to be rated by your group mates. Okay, for Crash Me Down Activity, you are going to use these materials. A piece of chalk, a hammer, a piece of cloth, and a tablespoon of vinegar. Okay, and the procedures that you're going to do is, number one, get a piece of chalk and wrap it in a piece of a cloth. Then, pound it using a hammer. Number two, get another piece of chalk and pour the vinegar on it. Observe what will happen. Compare the changes that happen in the two pieces of chalk. Then, you're going to answer the different guide questions. Okay, here's the question. Question for number one, what kind of, ch of change or transformation happened to a first piece of chalk and the second one? Okay, the first chalk was crushed and turns into a smaller piece, while the second piece of chalk was dissolved. Okay, for number two question, based on the activity, how are you going to compare the two types of weathering? Yes, very good. The first experiment shows a physical weathering and the second piece of chalk shows a chemical weathering. Okay, for number three questions, how can you relate this to the rocks around us on a daily basis? Okay, rocks can be withered in different ways through rain and sunlight. That will be result to ruin it and crash and turn into a soil. Okay. So that will be our lesson. It is all about weathering. Weathering is an important process that makes shapes the earth's surface. The breaking of rocks result into the different landforms or formations of soil. This is also the reason we have amazing rock formations. Water, ice, acid, salts, plants, and animals, and even the changes of temperature are all the agents of weathering. It is the breakdown of rocks into small particles with, in contact with water, flowing through rock or living organism. Soil is a mixture of rock and mineral fragments, decayed organic matter, water, and air. To learn more about weathering, let's watch this video.
Our topic for today is soil formation. Soil is hmm. formed by the combination of physical, chemical and biological processes in which huge rocks are broken down into smaller particles over a long period of time. Rocks undergo a process of expansion and contraction in which they expand during the day and contract during the night due to the constant rise and fall in temperature. However, not all parts of a rock undergo expansion and contraction at the same rate, resulting in the formation of cracks. Gradually, these cracks cause the rocks to break down into smaller pieces. With time, these smaller pieces convert into particles and form soil. Water plays an important role in soil formation. Water that gets collected in the cracks of rocks sometimes freezes, which helps in widening the cracks. Also, flowing river water helps in the wearing down of rocks over time, which results in the formation of soil. Strong blowing winds also rub against rocks and help in wearing them down. Lastly, some living organisms like lichens that grow on rock surfaces release certain substances that cause rock surfaces to powder down and form a thin layer of soil. Okay class, we learned about how the rocks turn into soil and how soil is important. Soil is an important resource because without it, life on earth will be impossible. So we should take care of it. In a piece of bun paper, we are going to create a poster of activities that break down the rocks into soil. After you're done, submit it to your teacher. Thank you and good morning. That ends for our lesson for today. See you next time. Bye!